네, 지난 몇 시간 동안 uh -huh. 여태에 걸쳐서 이제 좀 영국, 미국 가봤는데 이번에는 right. 좀더 따뜻한 나라로 가보죠. <웃음> yeah, we're going to Australia. That's right. We're not going anywhere. Well, the I mean, video. we get to see the clip. It's like we're going to Australia. True, true. Vicariously. Vicariously. Through Sophie. 그렇죠. <웃음> <웃음> 그렇지만 네, 소피 씨의 영상이 우리에게 온게더 맞겠고요. Yeah. 아무튼 영상 재미있는 거 준비해봤으니까 함께 보실까요? Okay, Sophie 씨, 나와주세요. 나와주세요. Nowadays, it seems pretty easy to get a new album when it comes out. You just download it. When I was a teenager, the only way to hear new songs before the album was released was on the radio. We used to try to record them on cassette, but you'd always miss the first few seconds of the song. Once the album release date came, we used to queue for hours outside the store, all hoping to be the first to get our copy. I remember one time a band I really liked came on tour at the time of their album release. I managed to convince my mum to drive for three hours to take me to their signing event. But we didn't have a CD player in the car, so I had to wait the three-hour drive home before I could even listen to the CD for the first time. An album release felt like a really big deal back then. I wonder if it's because we couldn't download music, or maybe it was just because I was really young. Wow. Mm. A CD player. Wow. That's an old thing. It's been a very long time. 네, 물론 CD 플레이어 전에도 뭐 카세트 테이프 플레이어도 많이 썼었지만. Oh my goodness! I remember I had them when I was little. I had both a CD player and you know one that plays cassette tapes. Yeah, I mean it hasn't really been a long time. Right. It's only like 20 years ago that I used to have a cassette tape player. That's true. 그렇지만 요즘에는 거의 보기 힘들죠. 그래서 소피 씨가 오랜만에 그 CD 플레이어라고 하는 정겨운 이름을 이야기를 해줬습니다. 자한줄한줄 공부를 시작해 볼까요? Okay. So the first one is nowadays it seems pretty easy to get a new album when it comes out. Nowadays it seems pretty easy to get a new album when it comes out. It's a Pretty easy sentence. Yeah. <laughs> nowadays, it's pretty easy to get the meaning behind this sentence. That's right. Nowadays, 요즘에는 뭐 nowadays 다른 말로 바꾸면 these days, 뭐 recently, mm -hmm. lately가 되겠지만 nowadays 하면은 좀더 범위가 넓게 mm. 요즘에는 뭐 지난 뭐한 10년 아니면 mm. 뭐 5년, 2년. 그래서 요즘에는 it seems pretty easy 꽤 쉬워 보입니다. 무엇이 to get a new album when it comes out. 앨범이 발매가 되면 구하는 것이 쉬워 보이죠. 왜 쉬운지에 대해서는 그 다음 문장에 나오고 있죠. Right, it's easy because you just download it. 그렇죠. You just download it. 예전에는 실제로 정말 발매가 되었다고 하면 어떻게 했죠? What did you, what did people do? I went to the store. You went to the store. I remember going to the store and buying certain albums, and then you have to pull the like tape off of it. 맞아요. That was difficult. Like they don't want you to open that CD. 그렇죠. 그래서 실제로 그 레코드 가게에 가서 음반 가게에 가서 구입을 했어야 했는데. 뭐 정말 그렇게 오래 전도 아니죠. 그런데 요즘에는 그냥 you just download it. Mm -hmm. Simple, right? Mm -hmm. You don't have to do anything else. Mm -hmm. You just download it. Click mm -hmm. on your phone. 자 그리고 when I was a teenager, the only way to hear new songs before the album was released was on the radio. 아. When I was a teenager, the only way to hear new songs before the album was released was on the radio. When? <laughs> yes, so 맞아요. true. 네. I think a lot of people can relate to what she's saying. Yeah. 그래서 일단 그냥 추억에 잠겨 보시고 When I was a teenager, 제가 10대 때는 The only way to hear new songs 새로운 노래들을 들을 수 있는 유일한 방법 그런데 mm -hmm. 언제? Before the album was released right. 앨범이 이제 발매가 되기 전에 들을 수 있는 방법은 Was on the radio Yep, on the radio. 네. I would get like tapes and I would record the songs on my tape player <웃음> off the radio. 방금 이야기해 주신 Crazy. 것을 소피 씨가 바로 그 다음 문장에서 yeah. 이야기를 할 거예요. 그래서 이제 유일한 방법은 라디오인데 라디오에서 들으면 녹음하고 싶잖아요. Uh -huh. 그래서 어떻게 했다고 말하고 있죠? Mm -hmm. So me and Sophie are the same. Mm -hmm. We used to try to record them on cassettes, but we'd always miss the first few seconds of the song. <웃음> We used to try to record them on cassette, but we'd always miss the first few seconds of the song. 네, 한번 차근차근 보겠습니다. We used to 하는 것은 뭐뭐 하곤 했었다. Uh -huh. 물론 이 경우라면 자주 시도하던 거였기 때문에 we would 라고 바꿔도 똑같은 의미가 mm -hmm. 되겠죠. We would try to. Mm -hmm. 그래서 we used to try to record them. 여기서 말하는 them이라는 것은 뭐죠? The songs 그렇죠. The, that were not released on an album yet. That's right. The <웃음> new, songs new songs of which the album was not released yet. Mm -hmm. 그래서 이제 라디오에 나오고 있는 record them 그 노래들을 어디에 on cassette. 카세트라는 것이 이제 보통 카세트 테이프라고 카세트 테이프라고도 하지만 
그냥 테이프를 빼고도 yeah. 말할 수 있죠. Use a cassette. You can just say cassette or you can just say tape. Tape. You just use the context. 그렇죠. Yeah. 그래서 on cassette. 저희가 얼마 전에 이제 on vinyl이라고 하는 oh, yeah. 레코드 판으로라는 뜻이라고 말씀드렸었는데 mm-hmm. 이제 여기서는 on cassette 이제 테이프 형태로 mm-hmm. 녹음하려고 노력하고는 했는데 <웃음> but 여기서 이제 we'd we would 나오고 있습니다. Mm-hmm. 종종 이러곤 했다. We'd always 항상 miss the first few seconds of the song. Mm-hmm. 이제 노래가 나오니까 녹음하려고 하는데 테이프 꺼내고 있는데 이미 시작을 해버린 거죠. Yeah. 음. Yeah, I've I, had that so many times. I think a lot of people watching the show yeah. actually remember doing the same thing yeah. and having failed the same at the same, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the same stage. 자, 여기서 이제 단어 공부를 살짝 하나 하면 좋겠는데요. 바로 어떤 단어죠? All right, record. 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 물론 동사로서 right. as a verb, mm-hmm. 동사로서는 기록하다, 녹음하다라고 하면은 record. Record. 명사로 as a noun, record. 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 기록이 되는 거죠. Mm-hmm. 다시 한번 동사로는 record. record 명사로는 record. record 그래서 이 강세가 달라지면 은 동사, 명사 yeah. 달라지니까 주의해 주시고 그래서 세계 기록이라고 할때 world record. 그렇죠. world record world record 아니고 right now world record world record world record 라고 하게 되겠습니다 그래서 세계 기록 하면 은 world record 세계 신기록 하면 New World Record 음. 이렇게 될수 있겠고요. 그리고 또 명사로 써서 분명히 말해서 라고 하는 말이 있습니다. 음. 어떻게 말하죠? For the record. For the record. For the record. 그러니까 For the record를 사실 생각해보면 은 기록을 위해서라는 직역이잖아요. 음. 기록을 위해서. 그러니까 만약 내가 지금 한 말이 분명하지 않다면 혹시 헷갈린다면 기록을 위해서 딱 말해두는 건데 분명히 말하건데 음. For the record. For the record. For the record. 그래서 분명히 말하건데 mm-hmm. 그리고 또 마지막으로 관련 표현은 바로 Off the record. Off the record. Off the record. 내가 말을 하고 있는데 상대방이 막 적고 있는 거예요. Yeah. 여, 여러분이 무언가, 무언가를 말하고 있는데 right. 막 recording 하고 있어요. Right. And I'm like, 그, no, 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 no. This is off the record. Off the record. I just want to tell you blah, blah, blah. 그렇죠. 공개하지 않기로 하고 말하고, 말하면 비공개를 전제로 말하면 아니, 우리, 우리들 사이니까 그냥 mm. be, just between the two of us. Mm-hmm. Just keep it a secret. Yeah, it's off the record. Only off the record. Know. Yes. Only me. 그런 거는 뭐잘 지켜지진 않지만. Yeah. <laughs> I think everybody will eventually get to know. That's true. Whatever you say off the record. That's true. 그래서 off the record는 그런 뜻이 있습니다. 다음 문장으로 가볼까요? Mm-hmm. Once the album release date came, we used to queue for hours outside the store. Mm-hmm. Once the album release date came, we used to queue for hours outside the store. 네, once라는 것은 한 번이라기보다는. 뭐뭐 하고 나면 yeah. when 네, when이랑 똑같은 yeah. 의미로 쓰였습니다. 그래서 앨범 발매일이 came mm-hmm. 다가오고 나면 mm-hmm. we used to queue 재밌는 표현이죠. queue I know when I first read it I forgot for a minute <웃음> I don't know if you caught that when I was reading it but queue queue stand in line <웃음> stand in line 미국에서는 <웃음> 많이 쓰지는 않는 표현이죠. Yeah 음. we usually don't use queue just we say stand in line you can say stand in line you can say line, line up line up 음. 그리고 이제 영국이나 호주에서도 queue라고 하기도 하고 queue up이라고 하, 음, 하기도 하죠. Up. 그래서 we used to queue up, we used to queue 음. 둘다 좋습니다. 음. For hours, 몇 시간 동안 음. outside the store. 음. 그 out of the store라고 하면 은 이제 안에, 안에 있다가 음. go out of the store, 가게 yeah. 밖으로 Because usually when an album is released, it's mm-hmm. released at a certain time. 그렇죠. Like it'll you know, start from like, I don't know, 12 a.m. or something. So mm-hmm. you have to wait outside until 12 a.m. 네. and then 네. get it. 그래서 밖에서 기다리고 있는데 outside the store니까 mm-hmm. 가게 앞에서 기다리는 거 똑같습니다. Uh-huh. In front of the store. 그래서 사람들이 기다리면서 무엇을 원했죠? All hoping to be the first to get our copy. Mm-hmm. All hoping to be the first to get our copy. 네, 여기서 말하는 all이라는 것은 of course all of Us, Us, all of the people standing in the queue. That's right, outside the store. <웃음> outside the store. So, Waiting. 모두, 모두가 <웃음> 어, 현실적으로 불가능하지만 모두가 제일 먼저 be the first to get our copy. Mm-hmm. 여기서 말하는 copy라는 것은 뭐 복사본이 아니고요. Right, it means they want the album. Mm-hmm. Which essentially all the albums are copies, right? True. Yeah. Is there an original one? Not really. Everything is just copied. I don't think so copied. because it's, isn't it digital and then they just 그렇죠. print them out? 네. 그래서, in a factory? 네. I don't know. 카피라고 하면 그대로 정말로 뭔가 불법 카피일 것 같고 일리거 카피 right, right, right. 이런 게 아니고 카피는 그냥 책한 권도 카피. Yeah, just like a book because it's 
essentially copies of the of one thing over and over again. 그렇습니다. Yeah. 그래서 카피가 복사 뭔가 그냥 임의로 복사한 것이 아니고 그냥 그 앨범 하나 하나가 다 카피인 거죠. 정품도 yeah. 다 카피입니다. 그래서 get our copy 즉 처음으로 앨범을 사고 싶어서 모두가. Mm-hmm. 네, 그래서 그렇게 hoping 바라면서 기다려 mm-hmm. 기다렸다고 합니다. 다음 mm-hmm. 문장. I remember one time a band I really liked came on tour at the time of their album release. Mm-hmm. I remember one time a band I really liked came on tour at the time of their album release. I remember one time 한번 기억이 나는데요라고 mm-hmm. 이야기를 했고요. 이 형태에 사실 I remember once, I remember one time, mm-hmm. I remember one particular day 이런 형태가 지금 우리가 English on the go를 통해서 정말 많이 접하는 형태인 것 같아요. Yeah. 약간 예전에 있었던 일을 이야기할 때마다 이 문장이 거의 뭐 한, yeah. 네, 일주일에 한 번씩은 I remember one time when I was blah 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 그렇죠. 네. yeah. 물론 I remember one time when 이라고 하면 은그 문법으로 따져봤을 때 문장은 더뭐 깔끔하지만 음. 이렇게 when을 안 쓰고도 이런 말 합니다 음. A band I really liked 여기서 중요한 것은 liked Band I really liked, yeah Used to like At that time At that time In the past That 지금. one time <웃음> 지금은 별로 좋아하진 않나 봐요. 좋아하던 밴드니까. Came on tour at the time of their album release. Mm-hmm. 이제 앨범이 발매되는 그 시기에 투어를 했죠. Mm-hmm. 근데 came이라고 했으니까 이제 그 동네로 온것 같아요. Right, so they came to her town, her city. That's right. Went on tour 하면 뭐 다른 나라로 가버리거나. Right, they're somewhere else. But if you say they came, you know, on tour, that means they're in your city. 네, 투어를, 투어 차 왔다는 거죠. 다음 문장입니다. I managed to convince my mom to drive for three hours to take me to their signing event. Mm-hmm. Wow. I managed to convince my mom to drive for three hours to take me to their signing event. 사실 wow. 일단 번역은 저는 managed to 가까스로 뭐 했다는 거죠. 엄마를 설득해서 convince my mom to drive for 뭐 너무 이제 10대니까 운전을 아직 mm-hmm. 못할 때니까 3시간 동안 운전해서 their signing event 팬사인회 장소에 데려다 달라고 설득을 한 건데 mm-hmm. 재밌는 거는 투어를 왔다고 했잖아요. Right. To her area. Right, to her area, but probably not in her city city. Maybe she's in a small city or yeah. something, but still came to her country, you know. 그렇죠. Somewhere they're not usually. 네, 그렇기 때문에 완전 진짜 동네까지는 안 왔기 때문에 운전해서 간 거고요. Uh-huh. 호주도 큰 나라잖아요. Uh-huh. It's a big country too. Yeah. Like compared to Korea, they're yeah, like much bigger. Huge, 네. Yeah, it's huge. 그런데 문제가 있었죠. But we didn't have a CD player in the car. <웃음> But we didn't have a CD player in the car. 그런데 자동차 안에 CD 플레이어가 없어서 아. 그 사이닝 이벤트에 가서 앨범도 샀어요. Uh-huh. CD까지 샀는데 CD 플레이어가 없어서 어땠다고요? So I had to wait the three-hour drive home before I could even listen to the CD for the first time. So I had to wait the three-hour drive home before I could even listen to the CD for the first time. 그래서 I had to wait the three-hour drive home. 집까지 오는 three-hour drive. 세 시간짜리 그 운전 mm-hmm. 시간을 세 시간 동안 운전하는 것을 기다려야 했어요. Mm-hmm. Before I could 기다린 후에야 들을 수 있었죠. Mm-hmm. Even listen to the CD for the first time. Mm-hmm. CD를 어떻게 하, 할 수도 없고 mm-hmm. 듣는 것을 이제 mm-hmm. 기다렸다가 들었다라는 말이고요. Mm-hmm. 다음 문장. An album release felt like a really big deal back then. 그렇죠. An album release felt like a really big deal back then. 그때는 이제 앨범 발매가 a really big deal. 처럼 느껴졌다. Mm-hmm. 여기서 이제 big deal 공부를 해볼 텐데요. Mm-hmm. 발음이 어떻게 된다고요? Big deal. Big deal. Big deal. <웃음> 사실 이제 대단한 일, 중요한 일을 말해요. 원래 deal 자체가 거래잖아요, 거래. Mm-hmm. We make 그, a deal. We make a deal, 거래를 한다. Mm-hmm. Or you can get a deal, good deal, a good deal on a product. Yeah, like a bargain or yeah. like some type of discount. 그렇죠. 약간의 할인을 좀잘 받았을 경우에는 그러니까 mm-hmm. good deal on this 이렇게 말을 하겠지만 일반적으로 그냥 big deal 하면 대단한 일, 중요한 일인데 좀 이제 비꼬는 yeah, 형태로도 많이 쓰이죠. Yeah, I was about to say, you can use it sarcastically as well. So h y u n o Sim's like, I got a new car, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, big deal. <웃음> 그렇죠. 사실, Because I'm jealous. Yeah, and you say like, I got a new perm. I say like, you look the same, big deal. 이렇게 말할 수가 있겠지만 Of course, in reality, we're nice to each other, right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. 그런데 이제 비꼬듯이 말하는 big deal, 별것도 아닌데 라고 mm-hmm. 말할 때는 원래 뜻하는 것은 그 다음에 나오는 mm-hmm. 별거 아닌 일. Right. No big, no big deal. No big deal. No big deal. 이라고 말하고 싶어서 mm. 비꼬와서 big mm. deal. Mm. 나 오늘 뭐 예를 들어서 100원 주었어. Big deal. 이렇게 말하는 oh, 친구가 있겠죠. Big deal. 네. Yeah. Big deal. <웃음> 그렇게 이야기하는 거고요. Mm-hmm. 그리고 이제 마지막으로 거래를 
깨버리는 요인이라든지 아니면 관계를 망치는 원인이 되는 uh, 것을 deal breaker, deal breaker, deal breaker라고 합니다. 음. 뭐 어떤 사람의 안 좋은 습관이 deal breaker가 될 수도 있겠고요. 음. 여러 가지 뭐 요인이 있겠습니다. 마지막 문장 하나만 보죠. Mm-hmm. I wonder if it's because we couldn't download music, or maybe it was just because I was really young. <laughs> I wonder if it's because we couldn't download music, or maybe it was just because I was really young. I wonder. 문장 구조 잘 보세요. I wonder if it's because A, or because B. 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 그렇죠. 그래서 <laughs> I wonder 궁금하다. If it was because 여기서는 if it's because we couldn't download music. 그 당시에는 음악을 다운로드 할수 없어서 그렇게 앨범 음. 발매가 큰 사건이었는지 모르겠고 mm-hmm. or maybe it was just because I was really young yeah. 아니면 그때는 그냥 너무 어려서 그랬나 yeah. 봅니다 아니면 그랬는지도 모르겠습니다 I 하는 think 말이죠. so because when you're young you really like idolize your favorite bands and stuff yeah I think it was mainly but I, I think it was the first reason people couldn't download music no, I think um, young people teenagers these days they are very excited about album releases mm-hmm. too so I don't think it's just a Young people thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> that's anyway. the entire story. Yeah. So we're gonna take a look at it two more times. The first time with English subtitles. The second time with sound. Sophie, she, Tashi, now it's there. Nowadays, it seems pretty easy to get a new album when it comes out. You just download it. When I was a teenager, the only way to hear new songs before the album was released was on the radio. We used to try to record them on cassette, but you'd always miss the first few seconds of the song. Once the album release date came, we used to queue for hours outside the store, all hoping to be the first to get our copy. I remember one time a band I really liked came on tour at the time of their album release. I managed to convince my mum to drive for three hours to take me to their signing event. But we didn't have a CD player in the car, so I had to wait the three-hour drive home before I could even listen to the CD for the first time. An album release felt like a really big deal back then. I wonder if it's because we couldn't download music, or maybe it was just because I was really young. Nowadays, it seems pretty easy to get a new album when it comes out. You just download it. When I was a teenager, the only way to hear new songs before the album was released was on the radio. We used to try to record them on cassette, but you'd always miss the first few seconds of the song. Once the album release date came, we used to queue for hours outside the store, all hoping to be the first to get our copy. I remember one time a band I really liked came on tour at the time of their album release. I managed to convince my mum to drive for three hours to take me to their signing event. But we didn't have a CD player in the car, so I had to wait the three-hour drive home before I could even listen to the CD for the first time. An album release felt like a really big deal back then. I wonder if it's because we couldn't download music, or maybe it was just because I was really young. Thank you, Sophie, for telling us the story two more times. Yes. And now it's time for our bonus segment for Wednesday. Yes, it is. It's time for us to take a look at some important cultural keywords. Okay. So, without further ado, it's time for culture keywords. Keyword.